وأنا المحب لأهل سنة أحمد أنا غصة في حلق من عاداني بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد البرهان في إثبات إن الحربلاء صفة للرحمن And that volume, where is that? Asul Al-Kafi, volume 1, page 161, hadith 6. Allahu Madlisi, Allahu Madlisi. Whenever you study a school, especially within Islamic thought, if the Tawheed is not correct, the rest of the school is not worth even following. Um, we don't do justice to ourselves because people don't realize the pure Tawheed that the Shia have. Ibn Abi Talib. Go be man jai, go Ali. Ibn Abi Talib on the shumede. پرده ها کنار رفت دید حاکم بر کون و مکان علی ابن عبی طالبه گفت خدا عالم بد عالم مثال عالم برزخ گفت پرده ها بره کنار پرده ها رفت کنار ابراهیم دید حاکم بر عالم برزخ علی ابن عبی طالبه گفت خدا تموم شد این علی گفت نه عرش رو نگاه دو دید حاکم بر فوق عرش علی ابن عبی طالبه your mushriks, etc., etc. That's enough. You know, 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 قبله آرزوها و آمال و امیدهای تمام اهل حاجت امیر المؤمنین علیه السلام دست گدایی ما به سوی امیر المؤمنین علیه السلام دراز میکنیم و افتخار هم میکنیم نانسنس این دیگه یو هول پرسپشن اف توید واز ا جوک د لاک اف ویچ وی سی فروم دی جوز دی کریشنز اند دی پولیتیست اند دیس از وات نیکست پوینت دت یو منشن شی هاز میک دعا تو اونلی لایک کریشنز دیو تو جیسوس اوکی سو یا وی دو وی دونت دینای دس who told you that we have issues with Christians calling Jesus? Where did you get that from? Again, imposing a Salafi mindset. Who told you when Christians call Jesus we have an issue with it? Who told you that? You have an issue with it. That's fine, good for you. Oppose it if you want. But we've never had an issue with it. Testify and support the fact that we can pray to Jesus. And the answer is yes. And <laughs> I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this in this video because we have taught about prayer to Jesus in other videos. Um, Jesus Christ is given all authority. He's the one who is practically ruling for God. So we have to be able to ask him for things. Why? Because calling on the awliya, calling on the prophets, calling on the al bayt calling on the 12 imams is not something that we shall. We believe it. We believe it's totally fine to call them. But when we call to Ali, Ya Ali, help me. Imam Ali can do dua for us. We believe he can help us. Ya Ali. Ya Ali. Our, our two is clearly superior. Clearly we're saying worship one God. Our issue is not that they call on to Jesus. Call on to Nabi Isa. نرجع إن شاء الله تحت قبة أمير المؤمنين وهناك أقرأ لكم نادي عليا نادي عليا مظهر العجائب تجد عونا عونا لك في النواة You are Mushrik, etc. etc. Oh, Allah, it's just as deviated as what you're actually calling the person from. What do I mean by that? When you call a Christian, when you call when you call a Christian person to their when they call a Christian person to their person their version of Tawheed.
next point that you mentioned, she has made dua to Ali like Christians do to Jesus. Okay, so hmm. who told you? Again, you said the word dua. Who told you Al Nida? By dua, if you mean Al Nida, to call Ali. Yeah, we do. We don't deny this. <laughs> if you mean Al Nida, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Shirk. We are proud of it. Who told you that we have issues with Christians calling Jesus? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Where did you get that from? Again, imposing a Salafi mindset. Who told you when... Oh, guys, it's a Salafi mindset. Brace yourselves. Calling on Allah alone in worship. Objecting to... Ya Prophet, Ya Saint, X, Y, Z, Ya Jesus, Ya Mary, Ya Fatima. That's a Salafi mindset, subhanAllah. Christians call Jesus, we have an issue with it. Who told you that? You have an issue with it. That's fine, good for you. Oppose it if you want. But we've never had an issue with it. Why? Because calling on the Aulia, calling on the Prophets, calling on the Al Bayt, calling on the Twelve Imams is not something that we're Ooh, look, he, <laughs> look how he counts them all down. Huh? Jeez, the only thing left was Ram and Krishna, Hare Krishna and Buddha and whatnot. Oh, we believe it. We believe it's totally fine to call them. Mm -hmm. With the authority that Allah's given them. Mm -hmm. Independent gods. Allah is one. You worship Allah. Calling someone doesn't equate to worship. Understand this guy though. Calling someone Understand this guy though, guys, yeah? Someone doesn't mean you're worshipping them. If you've understood that guy then you've understood what we're doing. If you understood the Gwaida guys, yeah, he wants Miskin wants to say if you understand this Qaida, this principle, look at this Miskin lies uh, like his Ayatollahs. I mean a basic word, all of us make mistakes, but he's lecturing. He's lecturing, he's prepared. Yeah? Gwaida is Gwaida. If you learn the Gwaida, yeah, the Qaida he wants to say that Nida calling doesn't equate yeah, making dua. <laughs> this is what this miskin learns from these, from his charlatans, you know, Naqshawani and the other speakers. You know, playing with semantics. Oh, it's only nida we do. We do only nida. It's a call. Don't you ask you, like Shubedi the Shaytan and Zindiq, when he says, uh, yeah, uh, don't do Salafis and the Sunnis. When you ask someone for a glass of water, is that shirk? Lord, Lord, ha ha. Refute it. The Prophet have answered back. No, ya zindiq. No, ya mushrik. If I ask someone for a glass of water, if I call someone, every aqil will see that I'm not doing dua. I'm not attributing any superpowers like him being a Samir, the all hearing, Al Basir, the all seeing, Al Alim, the all knowing, like you Mushrikun attribute to your saints, to your Imams, when you believe that the Imams hear everything, see everything, are aware of everything. But of course you don't do it independently. All is given by Allah. Yeah? Imam Ali's powers are all given to him by Allah. As if saying be is the law, yeah, be is the law, but the permission of Allah turns shirk into tawheed. You see the maskara, you see the tala'ub, you see the games these people play with the deen, as if giving, as if giving dirt, the stamp of gold, turns dirt into gold. As if calling shirk tawheed turns shirk into tawheed. No, it doesn't work like that. No, you can't attribute all this shirkiyat and this kufriyat huh, to your preferable saints and then say, yeah, but ah, we say that's all with the power of Allah. With the power of Allah, my imam is basically Allah. Sees everything, hears everything, responds to everything, and we ask all our needs from them. That's just tawheed. And of course, he has no problems with Nasara <laughs> praying to Jesus Christ, Allahu Akbar. This is the Rafidism, guys. That's why, as one Sheikh of Ahl Sunnah said, let the Rafidism just speak. Let him just speak for a few minutes and he destroys himself. He exposes the evil reality of his sect. Wallahi, this is what it is. Often you don't even need to really refute them, just let them speak. So now all those Mexican, other brothers and sisters who are of Catholic background, who left Christianity because of all the paganism and polytheism and calling upon saints and Jesus and Mary and 
uh, and so on and so forth, Rafid is telling them, no, 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 all you did all the time, that wasn't even wrong, keep doing that, because now we, Rafid, are going to invite you, either keep calling on Jesus or Mary, or, you know, ideally replace them now, don't say, yeah, Jesus, say, yeah, Ali, don't say, yeah, Mary, say, yeah, Fatima, salavat, yeah, that's, that's what the Prophet wasallam, of course, came for, brothers and sisters. The Prophet struggled 23 years, told the people to single out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in al-ibadah, in worship, yeah? And 23 years hard work, according to Tawheed, only to replace all those, Ya Hubal, Ya Uzza, Ya Lad, Ya Mary, Ya Jesus, Ya Saint X, Y, Z, only to replace them with his family and himself, of course. Now it's time to invoke us. And of course, according to this Zindiq, to this heretic, to this caller of hellfire, to this caller to the hellfire and his likes, asking someone for a glass of water, or asking someone to, oh, give me a hand, is the same as asking Ali, or, you, or shall I say, Oli, for all your needs, for all your hajat, saying that Ali gives you rizq, as the kafir mushrik scholars say. Ali gives you rizq. The blessing your bread is from Ali. Call on Ali for all your needs. Call on this imam if you have trouble in this. Call on that imam if you lose something. Exactly like in a Catholic and Orthodox church. Huh? This is of course the same as asking someone for, you know, for, or, 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 give me a cup of tea please. To the Rafidi brain and intellect, that's the same as raising your hands, huh? In yani where every aqal, even Hindu, can understand that this person is right now not just regularly asking. He is praying like this mushrik now here. هم سلطان عالمین کعبه ایمان سلطان عالمین کعبه ایمان امیر المؤمنین علیه السلام و السلام را صدا بزن از خلوص دل یا علی مدد اهل بیتان نمی پرستیم ون می کوت علی یا علی هاو می امام علی کن دو دعا فر اس وی بلیو وی کن هلپ اس even he knows, he knows the viewers are Sunni, so he said, when we call on Ali, Ya Ali, help us, he even is a bit ashamed sh to say openly, they do it, but like to say openly in front of the camera, Ya Ali, you, 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 yourself do it. Why? Because Allah given him that power. Allah given him power, he says. This is the argument of these mushrikun. They all, always talk about the possibility, Allah gave him, according to us. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave nobody, nobody, not from the prophets or the from the prophets or the or the sahaba or the ahl bayt, even the angels, never the authority to listen to all of our du'as, to be aware of all of our du'as, and to respond to all of our du'as. Guess guess who is that? Guess who does that? Guess who says in the Quran, call upon me and I will respond to you? Yes, that's Allah. Discussion and subject to go into. But just generally, the concept of calling on to Ali is not an issue. Yeah. If you call on him, to he, Ali, can, Ali, Ali can do the world for you. Ali can do miracles that God's given him. Whether he was alive or whether he's passed away, we don't, we're not shy about it. Uh, of course you're not shy about your shirk. And, and the argument always, whether he's alive or he's dead, the matter of fact is that the issue is really not about alive or dead. Because what the Rafa the Mushrikun do, even if Ali was alive, what they do is shirk. Because these Masakeen think that we call what they do shirk because Ali is not alive. No, it's not the issue. If Ali would be right now in Najaf and I raise my hand like these Mushrikun do, like the Ayatollahs do, like the Turban, Turban heads, Mu'ammameen do, and I raise my hand and I pray to Ali, ask all my needs uh, from Ali, the way one asks from Allah, that's still shirk. It's irrelevant Ali being alive or not alive. 
As a matter of fact, of course, when Ali was alive, Ali couldn't hear all calls, and he never responded to all calls, let alone when he was not anymore in this uh, world. But what's the issue? I don't know what the issue is with that. Oh, because Christians do it. Oh, so, so what you done was you used a, a, a logical fallacy. He, he learned some new terminology now. Oh, logical fallacy. Let's see what's a logical fallacy. Let me show you a logical fallacy. Mm. Similarity doesn't equate equality. No, he's reading. Something being similar doesn't equate does, doesn't necessitate equality. Yeah, similarity doesn't equate um, equality. Now, of course, from a logical point of view, this is correct. Not every similarity equates equality. Of course not. And now look, and now look what he says. Listen. Example. Example. As, a, as, as, as an easy example, hmm. we wear hats on our head to cover our head as a sunnah. Well, mostly the they don't do that, but anyway. Jewish people wear a, wear a hat. They wear it differently, but they've got. No, well, the first thing coming to his mind is yogurt. Hat, nonetheless. Does that mean now because we both wear hats, or because Muslims wear hats, and actually we came later than Jews, so therefore now we're Jews? He brings, he he talks about the logical fallacy, and then he himself makes a logical fallacy. And what is his logical fallacy? We say where is the qaida, not guaida, yeah? Where is the qaida? What he mentions. Uh, from a logical standpoint is correct he applies it wrongly because when people say that Ya Rafida what you do is similar to the shirk of the mushrikun or in cases it's 100% the shirk of the mushrikun of the past yeah you can't then come and say oh yeah are you just saying to me that this is shirk because it's similar to what Christians do no there's many things that we and Christians and the Jews and the Zoroastrians agree with. Generally speaking, we agree that there is a heaven. Generally speaking, we agree there is a hell. So of course not everything, us and them, our theological opponents, from our point of view as Muslims, agree on, doesn't equate with um, them being similar to us and, and that their belief is then by default wrong, just because they believe something we believe in, or we believe something they believe in. But this miskin doesn't understand these fine details. So he thinks he got us now by saying that, yeah, well, look, Jews wear hats. Besides, Jews wear this little tiny thing there on the head. But anyway, so his point is, it's a, it's a moot point. This is this not a, he didn't make any real point. No. Hmm. Jewish people pray, we pray. Yeah, Does so? Does we're Jews? No. Jewish people are circumcised, Muslims are circumcised. Does that mean we're Jewish people? That we're Jewish now? No. No. But Jews, for example, have wailing rituals where they constantly wail. Huh? Do Muslims do that? No. Do Rafada do that? Yes. Jews write letters, but in their defense, to God. Rafada have innovated a bid'ah and Jamkaran and Qom. Go there. Yeah. They write letters to their hidden, mythical, non-existing imam, like the Jews similar. There's a similarity here. We condemn similarities that are not approved in Islam. So everything Ahlul Bid'ah or the Ahlul Kitab does in accordance with Islam, we have no issue with it. But anything that has a similarity with the polytheistic rituals that are not approved in Islam, we have an issue with. Call on to Jesus, no problem. Do you know why issue with Christians calling on to Jesus is? Our issue... <laughs> Jesus, Christians calling to Jesus, no problem. The only issue is? Issue is the theological implication of when they call out to Jesus, they call him as the son of God. So that's the only problem, mashallah, salawat. So the rather, the only problem which Christians there would have is to say, yeah, well, don't call him literally God. You know, don't say he's part of the essence of God. He is one with God. Other than that, go. Yeah, Mr. Orthodox guy, Mr. Catholic guy. Just like us, Rafa, you can crawl to your graves. You can mud bath. You can call upon Saint A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You know, they have a long list of saints. You can call upon Jesus, of course. Call upon Mary. Just please do it as we do. Don't call them gods. You know, we are rather than very smart. We just don't call our imams gods. And we don't say that they have their powers, powers independent from God. And other than that, we can do everything we want. And we can attribute anything we like. For example, we believe the imams hear everything. Mm -hmm. Like God, respond to everything. 
المجيب like God hear everything السميع like God we just add a clause like an agreement you know like like the Yahud you know when they play around with the deen of Allah we just say بإذن الله with the permission of Allah and then every shirk suddenly turns into tawheed <laughs> الله المستعان الله المستعان